if you are having trouble finding enough organisms, if you are having trouble finding proteins or um, databases to use, try some of those suggestions that I had in class. Are you finding anything? Yes, I am. What are you finding? Um, just uh, uh, found some uh, species that uh, I'm going to work with. Good. Do you feel like a real biologist? Yeah. <laughs> it took a long time, to, like trying to gather up all of these um, hits or whatever, and uh, we put it in import and it runs. And then we can come up with this list. It looks really confusing. I hope we can figure it out. <laughs> I think we should be okay, though. Pick, pick a database. Okay, because what will happen is the more databases you're using with that general description, you will pull up tons and tons of hits. pull up tons and tons of different kinds of proteins. The idea will be... You got how many? <laughs> Seven thousand is a little bit much to kind of look through, right? So if you look at just one of the databases instead of all those, first we search for myoglobin because we figured an interesting thing to search for, and we came up with a bunch of different organisms, and we decided to keep the ones that are related to like whales, porpoises, and other sea animals, and so we put them in our little. <laughs> we saved them just so we imported them. Imported them. We imported them to our file. And then we decided to narrow that down to like 15. Get rid of some of the really far off ones. So we mostly have like porpoises, whales, and a few different ones, we have an otter, we have a dolphin, and two seals, so we just kind of want to see how they're related. And then we pick them, we select them on here, and then we make a, a tree with it to see how closely they're related. So this is our tree that we came up with, it's a rooted tree, and here is a humpback whale. And then one thing that we found interesting is that you have the saddleback dolphin right there, and the killer whale, and they're really closely related because they stem from the same root, I guess. That's really interesting. Because you wouldn't really think that like a like old whale and a dolphin are that closely related because the other dolphins, or I'm sorry, the other whales you expect. But you know, some of the stuff we found. And like, this is the Eurasian otter. <laughs> and then this is a gray seal and a harbor seal, so like the otters and seals, they're kind of close related, but you'd expect that from the way they look. So basically what we're just seeing is to see how everything's related and like the difference in evolution. And then our finished product is going to be similar to this, but more in detail, because we're not going to have these little codes. We're going to actually have the scientific names of each animal, and preferably a picture to see whether or not they do look alike. And if they don't look alike, then you try to figure out why that's so, like if one evolved more faster than the other or not. Using biology workbench, we just, we could compare like any type of animal. Like you could see how different a human was from any other, you know, species, and it was really very interesting. It's a lot different than like most biology classes because you actually like, actually get to like interact and I don't know for me personally that helps me learn a lot better because it's just a lot easier when you're you know you can see something like in action rather than just reading about it because I know we read the whole biology chapter and you're just like what you know but then you go on workbench and you uh, you can see like the differences in them like the amino acids and like the list like all of them and you can see where they're different and where they're similar and how closely related they are. Um, it was fun.